I have decided to get back into the game and I'm updating my tutorial series. There's been some major changes with the game. So let's look at the tutorials. One, they take a long time to get through. It takes, I think, like an hour to get through all of this. I'm going to try to do it in bits and pieces of while actually playing through the game. I, this time I am going to cover I am going to cover how to control everything in the game, uh, how to swap items, how to use your tools, and I'm going to make it all the way back to the very beginning basic. So, but we're not going to cover this tutorial. Now, the legacy advanced tutorial I probably wouldn't get into um, right now even it's in the game but it's not flushed out rocketry they are working on updating that as you can see research and rocketry is coming soon uh, probably when they flush the game out in that aspect um, everything else is here but I will also care cover it within the tutorial series and then I will carry that on to building a station so look at, let's look at the game setting okay so let's look at the new settings one you cannot edit your hunger rate you used to be able to but that has been locked out you can however edit the sun period so have it so you can have it go slower but that also mean that does not change the amount of sun versus the amount of the auto saves you can enable your auto saves and how long you want them to auto save we can go to a video if you're having trouble with a low graphics card the best thing to do is to come in here to advance and adjust your setting chuck chunk distance down a little bit so it will not render chunks that are far away from you so let's start a new world and we're going to do a little bit of a test uh, so we're going to start on the moon and we're going to custom world and now you can customize your world and this is what I mean by your setting chunk distance all of this is rendered if you're sitting here in the middle if it's higher it'll start rendering out more chunks if it's lower you'll render less so you can go through here and adjust everything get more output out of your out of your solar panels your temperature at dawn how high is it at noon and remember these numbers are in Kelvin uh, whether or not there's an atmosphere there's a breathable atmosphere on the moon um, terrain you can do mountains islands let's see what it's and that kind of creates some pretty big mountains but it also creates some pretty big craters okay so let's get into a new world now, we're going to be starting on the moon. I know the last time I said it was easier on Mars. This time, I think it's easier on the moon. So, we're going to select that world, and here is where we're going to change. It's going to adjust our food, our oxygen requirements, and our water usage. Easy, I haven't played yet, but we're going to give that go in a few minutes. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to just pause the game here for a second, and... This is normal mode. As you can see, the the helmet is closed. So you cannot eat or drink on normal or sta stationer mode with your helmet closed. You can open your helmet and you will take damage. And over time, your health will degrade. So I'm really not liking this start. If you start in like this, I would not continue on. You can just very easily knock your lander around and possibly knock it off the edge. So as you can see, I've started to knock the lander over the edge. It's just barely clinging on, but it can be done. So I would immediately leave out and start a new game if your lander's not in a good spot. Now we're going to go ahead and start an easy save. We've loaded our very easy save. And we're going to notice a difference. One, I can drink through my helmet. And I can also eat through the helmet. 
but I am not going to. I'm going to play this as if it was a normal stationary difficulty. I'm just using easy mode to give me time to uh, explain a few things. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look into one of these yellow containers. And there we go. We have iron frames. And I'm going to, so I'm going to hold alt and I'm going to come down here and drag the tracker and replace it with construction supplies. The network analyzer with the walls. I'm going to grab the road flares and exchange them out for the iron sheets. I'm going to take the solar panel and exchange it for the glass panels. And that is all I need for now out of there. And I don't really need anything else in here. But I'm going to go ahead and swap out my Atmo Analyzer for the Auto Wave. And we do have tape. I'm going to take the tape and swap that into with the tomato soup. You always want tape in your suit. Just in case a graphical glitch happens or you run into something you have tape to repair your suit. So, I'm going to hit 6. Okay, so I've added a key capture. So now you can see what it is I'm doing. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit 6. And as you can see, that's going to open and close my tool belt. I can do that with 4. I could do that with 3. And if I had something in slot 2, I can do that as well. We're going to close each one of those out. And there's my helmet. Now, as you see, I can scroll through these items. And I can just hit F on any item, and it'll put it into my hand. Now, as you can see down here, I can hold Alt, and I can also reach around and just manually grab anything within the world within my reach. I can grab out of here. I can grab here, I can swap things, and this is with Alt. Okay, so now as you notice down here on the bottom, you see how it's orange-ish? That is what hand you're selecting. So if we zoom out a little bit, I'm holding well, Shift and Scroll. You can see I've got frames in my left hand, and I'm going to press E and use my right hand. And I hit numpad 1, and you, as you can see, it switches hands. So I'm going to switch back over, and it's going to go with that hand. I can also grab two items. And for some practices, you will need two items. So the first thing we want to do when we get into the game is grab our tool belt. And I'm going to hit tilde, and that's going to eliminate everything on the screen. I'm going to hold 6, and it's going to swap between the tool belt and my inventory. Uh, sorry, it's going to swap. I'm going to put the tool belt on. Let's try to zoom in here a little bit. Maybe get a little bit more sun if I can maneuver right. And as, if you look right here, you can see that's the mining tool belt. And that's the regular tool belt. The regular tool belt has your tools. Look at the difference. It's got slots like containers. The mining tool belt is closed up. We want our mining tool belt on. And then we want to reach over and open this up and grab the mining drill and bring it out. And now you can see I've got the mining drill ready to go. And we'll just hold shift and scroll in. And we'll go around and we'll look for some iron. Now, every single world, as far as where the resources are, where the craters are, and I'm also going to, oh, did I? I already turned my light off. Uh, that is all RNG. So you can see there was some oxide right here, but it disappeared. I'm going to right click to turn the tool on. And I did see some iron sitting right here, but it disappeared. So we're going to dig out some mine. I'm going to have six so I can see what it is I'm mining. 
and I'm gonna get about 70 to 100 iron and remember I do have a jetpack so I can hold J and I can fly around space is up control is down and there was not a lot of iron in here sometimes the nodes can go very deep sometimes they can go horizontally vertically it's all RNG I, if I don't I'm not gonna waste too much time on it but I don't really see any iron so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna grab some gold now a good tip is to leave the top piece open uh, sorry this top uh, resource left leave it here so I can come back to it later and dig out more if need be and as you notice there was a little tiny piece of iron inside this gold node so as you can see sometimes they can mix now they won't be completely mixed it'll be gold completely on the left side and iron completely on the right side as you see the little cracks you can see that's where the irons at now we have some gold and I want a decent amount about 40 or 50 and as you notice I keep moving around and that's because I am deleting the terrain around the node while crossing over top of it so that way I can continue to discover more chunks while I'm mining so now I'm gonna just grab up a bit of this gold and we'll be back in a second okay so I have about 30 uh, 31 gold oh just a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead I don't really see anything else around here so I'm gonna go ahead so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of what's on top here I have confidence that I probably won't find any more around I also got rid of the iron or dug it up and I'm gonna grab just a bit of oxide this is oxygen it has a 90% oxygen 10% nitrogen mix and there's a bit more gold as you see sometimes it is a bit tricky it hides on you I'm gonna grab a bit more of this iron that is plenty to start off with now I want to find copper okay so it is dark I'm gonna go home I do not want to get lost and I'm not going to continue to explore out but now we're going to hold six uh, sorry we have to change to our tool belt and then hold six to put that on our waist uh, let's place this tool belt uh, sorry this mining belt in our storage and now I'm going to grab these iron frames and what I'm looking for is a good spot where I can easily walk onto and also expand out so I'm liking out expanding away from the lander here and that's a good amount of open space I don't have to dig too much if I would need to dig anything and as you see right here I'm liking this right here so I can easily walk on to it and I'm gonna just place down a good bit of frames I don't think I should have placed that one but you know it's okay all right, so now let's look at this grid. Ah, very nice grid. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do a full wide this time. Anything you do here, you want to have it kind of in your head how it is you want to do it. I've done it so many times, it's repetitive. I always do a 3x3. Three three. But this time we're going to kind of change it up a little bit. And we're going to add a bit, a few more time frames. And you don't need all of these frames. You only need an initial one by one space. And that is all. We have five frames left. 
Uh, let's go ahead and put that away. So now where is your airlock going to be? If you need to, take a piece of paper, uh, MS Paint or something, and take a screen capture and draw it out by hand. Or take paper and pencil. Draw out how you want it to do with uh, squares and X over what's going where. You could X over, you know, hey, I want my airlock to be here. Um, this is where I want my machine set up. So we're going to do an airlock. Um, we'll do an airlock. No, we'll do an airlock here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn outward. And you notice I'm using iron windows. You can use iron windows or you can use use the scroll wheel to get through your different types. You notice this says kit iron wall. Anything with a kit is changeable to different items. I'm going to use a kit iron one and you see here I have a frame I did not want. So I'm going to go into my tool belt and I'm going to grab the angle grinder and I'm going to get rid of that. It does not delete it, just puts it back into your inventory. Alright, now I need iron sheets out. And we're going to put the sheets in. And you see that one's going to be solid. Then we're going to grab the glass. And put glass panels in. And now we can build on this. Alright, I want to go back over here. And I want to look for the doors that the green one is or organics you don't need that one at the moment so there is our door that's what they look like all right I'm gonna come back over here and to turn it around think of this like a box or a cube like a die and you want to rotate that die. You're going to use page down to turn it around to the right. So if you're looking at a die and you want to look at what's on the left, use page down and it turns to the right. I'm sorry, I got that backwards. It turns to the left. It circles around to the right. Delete does the exact opposite. Home. And I need a different piece for this. So there it is. Home will go up around the top. No matter which direction you are. End will bring it down. And then insert and page down will rotate it in position. So I want the door. I want the manual hatch door. And we're going to just... Oh, I do not want to throw... Yes, you can throw things fairly far by holding down Q. I just want to drop. And I want my iron frames. And I will need my welding torch. And if you look right here, it says construct. Welding torch is not appropriate. Okay. Well, what is appropriate? Maybe the wrench? There. It tells me hand drill right required to deconstruct. Welding torch and one iron sheet required to continue. Even though it said welding torch is not appropriate. Not operable. Which means I need to turn it on. So we're going to right click and turn it on. And there's our manual door. Now we also need to now we need to do the other one and we need to remember to turn the welding torch off it does have gas in it and it can get very hot and it can run out and then we're going to open this up and get all of that you can see down here on the external it's 1900 degrees we want to get all those bad gases out of there now we have a simple room
and you're thinking, well, what could I do with this? Well, I could come in here, put in a little bit of oxide. Let's go get the mining belt. I'm going to right cl left click and I'm going to grab one of these and I'm going to split one. And it has, you see nothing happens. And that's because the sun is not up. This is ice. It's below freezing temperature. So as soon as the sun comes up, we're going to fix that. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to hit R. And I'm going to pull this battery out. And I've also got this. I'm going to hold R. And I've got another battery. Let's put that in there. There we go. And I'm going to bring this over to here. There we go. And I'm going to bring them and put them in the airlock. If you're on Mars, just leave everything in there. Or any other place other than the moon. Leave it inside your lander. There are storms on other planets. Alright, so now we have, what do we have? We have the auto lathe. So now as you can see, I can place this item. Because I have a frame, you could even place it inside the frame. So if you want to stack items, you can do that. And I'm going to come out. I'm going to place it kind of back over in this area here. I'm going to rotate it around so it's facing internally. There. And now I need the iron sheets. I'm going to put this away. And we're going to grab out our welding torch. And then we come back over here. I'm going to put the frames inside my inventory. And if I can find them, there they are, the plastic sheets. Okay, we're going to put this away and we're going to grab this little solar panel Power low. for that particular reason right there. Uh, let's find our little place and we're going to go ahead and drop the solar panel. We're going to grab the plastic sheets. And if you're playing on normal difficulty, you are probably right about now needing something to eat. We're going to wait till the sun is fully emerged. In the meantime, I'm going to work. Oh, I need four cable coils, so let's put that away. That will not go in there. Let's see if we got room in here. We do not. Well, let's go ahead and place those in there. Then we need the welding torch and the plastic. And then we also need a screwdriver. And that is complete. Let's go back over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this out. I can hit T and manually place things. Let's try to get this up here in the sun a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and place that in there. And that should eventually start charging. It is not generating anything. Maybe if I come and... Uh, over to here and it might be bugged out I don't know all right so we are going to look for but remember we do have another battery here sensors so right here we have a solar panel Which we can only place on the frame specifically. We cannot place it like we did the auto lathe. Which is 
perfectly okay. We're just going to go ahead and place that there. We're going to grab a glass sheet. And as you can see, it's already generating power. And I do believe this is bugged out, so we're not going to bother with it. We're going to come around here. And we're going to grab... We do not want the battery charger. What we want is the power controller. And we only want one of these. So I split one and I ended up dropping it. I don't have any space in my inventory. Let's drop those. Let's take this battery back out. So a little lesson there. Don't bother with the small solar panel. And I have no more free inner inventory space. I'm going to take the pill and I'm going to put that up there so I can get me a little inventory. Now I'm going to grab a frame on this one. I'm going to place you down. And I'm going to grab a sheet and we're going to make this solid. So now what I can do and then make sure to grab your crowbar. I'm going to place that battery in there and I'm going to turn it on. Put my crowbar away. Grab. Make sure to turn that flashlight off. And now I'm generating power. You see it's blue and green. Here's another little thing to save power. Turn your AC off. Watch your temperature over here. You're at 17. You can survive pretty cold temperatures. Especially on easy mode. Now what I want. Is. Come around here. And we're going to grab the battery charger this time. And we're going to place that over here. We're going to grab that. We're going to put that away. And it seems I put my cables. Always keep your cables handy. Temperature low. And there it is. Temperature low. And we'll turn it back on for a moment. So on easy mode, it seems the temperature actually drops. If you're on hard mode, uh, normal difficulty, it never drops down that low. At turn on, there we go. So put my cables, and I can also drag and place them right into the tool belt without ever having to open the tool belt. So, if I want to drag and put something away in the backpack, I automatically put it away. And I can even throw that in there too. So, now we've got some charging batteries. And we're also going to take this battery and we're going to throw it in there. I'm going to go ahead and Power swap that battery out. Now, what's happening here is the solar energy is passing through this area power controller and charging the batteries it is not charging this battery and this battery is charging that the energy is passing through so this is getting priority over charging this big battery however this battery is also adding to the charge to charge up this battery so if when the sun goes down this can drain through and charge up anything further down the line. So you want to be careful of that. Alright, now I want my auto lathe. And that's going to be... Uh, sorry, not the auto lathe. I want the arc furnace. 
and we are going to place you I'm kind of in a bad position here seeing as I don't have frames and I'm gonna place that let's add another frame up And as you can see, see the arrows right here and here? That's how you know which direction it's going. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab, I'm going to place it right here. This looks like a good spot. Remember the power's on the other side, so this was not a good spot. As you can see, we need to shift it over by one, so that way we can get those cables in. Remember, this is all the cables you have. So now, without removing my mining belt, I'm going to go ahead... I'm going to just drop those next to me for a second, and I'm going to turn you on... And it's not working. Why not? Well, I got a disconnection here. So, in order to... That's kind of... Don't get into a habit of dro just dropping things everywhere. So, we're going to... Remember how I told you you could scroll to see your different options? We're going to look for a straight piece which is right here but I can't put that in well you need your wire cutter so you can splice into it now this should work and we're the Sun is looks like it's already down so we are only going to smelt that little bit up because we don't want to drain this battery too much and we're not going to smelt up anything else. Tomorrow we'll do the rest of it. Anytime the sun is up, get using your power sources as much as you can. Alright, now what I can do for storage, keep things inside the airlock so you don't lose them. Or use your inventory if you have inventory space. Alright, so let's build some walls. Now I want to face these outwards. You see the green box? That means it's facing out. And if I look at the earth, I know that the sun is going to come up overhead and go along this path. Which means, and remember I need solar energy for plants. I need that sunlight. So along this path, I'm going to put glass back here in the corner probably on this line here but everywhere else as far as the roof is concerned I'm going to use uh, regular solid panels and this one here no I am sorry we're not going to build too big just yet we're going to take this one back down This one we're going to put in an iron window. And this one here. We want this window so the plants can get their sun. And we want walls to block the sun so it doesn't get too hot. Remember, build small. You can build this uh, like a 3x3 three three and just slowly expand out one piece at a time. There. Now, the only problem with this is my power out. So now my power just went out, which also means my AC is dropping. And we're going to go ahead and shut this off so I don't use up more of this 
battery. Which, incidentally, I couldn't if I wanted to because this guy has no battery. And I'm going to show you how this is going to swap over the charge. Make sure to turn this off. That is still using 10 watts of power. Think of it as keeping the power button lit. Alright. So now what I want to do... Is... I'm going to add these... Iron frame... Iron walls as floor pieces. So now what I can do is just come in here and seal everything up. I'm going to make sure to get every frame in straight lines. And then I'm going to build... Remember the windows also need a framing. That's just the first piece is the support. The second piece is the frame itself. So now how do we tell if it has it or not? You can look for these little screws and you can tell it's been installed. I'll remember I need one, two, three, four. So what I could do instead of doing these this extra layer, bring it in a level and I'll just have a two by uh, what is that, a 2x4? Or, I could do a 3x3, three three, cut this section off, move those walls over to here so I'll have a place to go. Now, we still don't have window installed, so let's install some windows. And you can see the lines there to know that you've got it. I'll show you from the top what it looks like when it changes. And it doesn't really change a lot. It's just the lines there. Show you there is glass installed. So now we still can't atmosphere uh, have some atmosphere. Um, I need all of these frames sealed up. Now you can seal them up straight with your welding torch. But I'm not going to do that for right now. I still have... Oh, no, those are iron frames. I do not have any more iron walls. So I think it would be a good idea to go ahead and use the welding torch. And we're going to go, but one thing is you need two pieces for that. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. That takes 12 pieces of iron sheets so we're going to need to print one for that we we'll also need to print one two three four for that and that's why i didn't want to use up all of these uh sheets putting in frame pieces I can build a little bit bigger if I just use walls. So now what I want to do, I want to make sure I've got this cabled up. I've got 29 pieces. I don't know if I'll be able to reach it or not. We'll see how far we can go. So I'm going to look for a curve. And then you see the yellow means I'm connected to it. The uh, green is not connected to anything. I'm going to look for... Now here I want to put in a curve and I'm going to hit C. You see how it auto snaps to the correct pieces? So there we go. We turn that on, but I have no power. Now as soon as the sun comes up, I'll start getting power. 
And this time we want to smelt up. We're going to swap this out for some iron. Okay, I will try to finish this up. So we can start step two, I guess, or second video. Nobody likes long videos. All right. So now we're just kind of waiting on the sun to come up. And I'm going to go ahead and look around and see if I can't find some copper. And I want to stay close. Do not want to get lost. Now some tips about navigation. Well, you've got the moon. If you go straight, or sorry, you've got the earth. You can go straight towards the earth and kind of... Just do a little sweeping pattern, and if you ever need to go back, you can see that in the bottom right here it says 10 degrees. I can set it to zero. If I need to go back, I turn 180 and just kind of do a little sweep pattern. Looking left and right, looking for any ores. You can also get some altitude. Turn your light off, and there you can see your lander if you can find your lander oh look at that see that little blue dot you can see that from a very very far away that is a battery so we will throw that battery into there and since I have power now um, you know what we're gonna shut you off take you out of there we're gonna go ahead and turn this on and we're gonna smelt up the iron get us a few pieces and if I look at the red dot you can see it counting down so there's 10 iron let's turn that off and we'll turn it back on and finish it off but as you can see I got the 10 iron I need so now we're gonna place that into our auto lathe and we're gonna build us a couple iron uh, iron sheets and then we're also gonna build four walls Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, let's just go with four. So let's turn that off. We're going to go wall, iron wall. We only have three. Let's grab this here. And then we can place this over in the corner. Remember to face them out. And we want iron wall. We need one more. And I can hit this arrow. So when it's done, it'll automatically cancel out the... Uh, cancel out constructing anymore. Um... You know what? Let's go ahead and build a window here. And we'll put... So now I've got a little walkway. Little bit of a hack there. Alright, so let's go in. Now, if you're on medium, uh, normal or extreme difficulty, you would have already done this. So I think what we're going to do... Seeing as the sun is hiding behind the wall door, we're gonna. Oh, there it, it just triggered. We could have opened it, let the sun. Let the sun get in here and uh, add some atmosphere. So now I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I'm gonna add it one at a time. This is pure oxygen. So. Well, it's, I'm sorry, it's 90% oxygen, 10% nitrogen. A low kilopascal level, 
or atmospheres is okay to breathe. Think of it like you're climbing a mountain. So now what I can do, it is going to be cold, but I'm going to open my suit. I'm going to press 1, I'm going to unlock the helmet, and you can use open helmet or I. And we have a breathable atmosphere. And I can come in here and do this all the time. Two or three oxide. How much did that take? Probably about three, maybe four oxide. And you can continue to do this. Remember keeping it low pressure. Make sure to close our helmet. And if you need to, to if you accidentally hit the eye, lock your helmet. And the reason we keep it a low atmosphere is we're going to lose it all right out the door. And that's all I have in this video. You see we have the basic set up. I went very slow. I'm sorry if uh, you're a little bit, you're looking for a little bit more advanced, but they will be coming. I am just taking my time for the new players with controls and everything else. From here, we are going to get uh, moving along a little bit more. I'm going to do less explaining of the controls and more of uh, just getting into it.